genuinely there, there is very little as a business that we can't do. So if you if you take Perkins business, we have uh, people in different territories who are an integral part of the business. They're all um, aligned with the overall strategy of the business. We're very good at cascading down the, the sort of the business strategy and getting people engaged with it. Um, we've got all the different functions that you require to develop product and get it to customers and support it in the aftermarket. So there's very little that we have, have genuine problems with that can't naturally be solved by the different areas of the business all working together to solve a particular issue. So part of the challenge of saying, you know, what, what problems do we have that we overcome is naturally the business working together resolves anything that gets in the way. So it's, it's almost, it's a difficult question to answer on that basis. We do technical integration workshops with our customers where we'll bring in their uh, sales, marketing, and primarily engineers to meet with our uh, engineering team and product marketing team. And we try to marry up their engine needs with their machine. Uh, and so we'll actually do CAD designs. We'll install the engine in, uh, in 3D software. And we talk through the different constraints and requirements. But through that process, we learn so much more about what the different machine requirements are. And it's a great way to actually gather a lot of market intel and, and requirements that customers have and it also just makes it a much more human contact and you know more uh, more of a relationship builder with an OEM because they're as much a part of our NPI development uh, as our own engineering team is. With the ever-changing environment that, that we and our customers operate in, understanding how our engines work in machines in the different environments around the world is key. We take all of the data from that marketplace and from that end user and we take it all the way back through to our clean sheet product development to really understand how we need to design and develop products for the future to meet not only the needs of today but also those of, of the future market. Taking that data enables us to think about how we shape the products for the future, how we validate the products for the future and ultimately how those products work in our customers' machines and ultimately add value and, and earn those guys money at the end of the day. Customers like to see us as a kind of trusted engine partner. Um, so the ability for us to highlight issues to them before they've happened and to be proactive and to be honest about what's happening with the engine out in the field and the ways we can prove it is, I think, quite powerful. Um, so there's an opportunity there to start using the data from those telematics, maybe also some of our simulation data. And I think that, as well as making the product better, builds the stronger customer experience. As our products, uh, existing products around the world are running, uh, we do a huge amount in supporting those products around the world uh, through our distribution network uh, and our partners. So that's things like, as machines are running, understanding how they're running, how they're operating. We're always at the forefront of developing new things. Uh, we always have the opportunity to ask why. Why are we doing that? Uh, could we do it better? Could we bring some new technology in? Using data analytics, information and data capture to really understand what our engines are doing in customers' machines or applications around the world. Um, and that can feed into both the product development, so learning how our machines are worked, how our engines are worked, um, how they're operating, and therefore what environments we need to design for in the future, uh, but also into how we support those machines uh, as they're running. So when do we need to service them? How many hours are they running? Uh, are there any issues that are emerging on a product that we need to work on? Uh, and that can link into our distribution network to service and support those engines in the field. We view um, service as a critical role um, in our customer's success and that's throughout the entire journey that the customer takes with us. Um, so we see service at the beginning of an MPI programme where we're focusing on what the customer needs, when they need it and how we can deliver it. Um, and all the way through to making sure our designs are correct and are fulfilling that need, to making sure we deliver our engines on time. And as we go into production, every engine um, is an example of us delivering that service to the customer. And then also how we continue to support those out in the field for many years to come. We also understand that product support is an essential part of, of selling and, and working in the uh, industrial engine market and we have offer and rival product support with numerous channels to market but with a truly global Perkins distribution network as well. Couple that with the, with the team that we have here at Perkins who understand our customers and work across the globe. 
we feel that as an organisation, as a, as a brand, Perkins offers um, true value to our customers and ultimately their customers as well. So we um, thought about this quite a lot because there are a lot of uh, engine manufacturers and therefore there's a lot of competition and, and understanding who you are and what it is that differentiates you relative to the competition is really quite important. On, on the business side, um, and this is significantly based upon feedback from customers, um, they tell us that we have the best continuous range of engines. So we have 0.5 to 18 litre engines with very few gaps in between. So as a single engine supplier, they can come to us, a single supplier, and get pretty much all the engines they're ever going to need. Um, manufacturing locations around the world, there, there's a number of reasons why you don't want to make all your engines in one place. And having manufacturing locations around the world all building to the same corporate quality standard is a big deal. Um, when I was first joined Perkins, I was told that half the engines we'd ever made since 1932 are still in the field. And if you imagine that we've made very many tens of millions of engines, that's a lot of engines, and therefore looking after them and maintaining them in the field over life, over a prolonged period of time, is very, very important. So on the aftermarket side, we have a very good strength in aftermarket support to customers' engines in the field. We have come to terms with the fact that you can't just develop an engine on a test bed and, and provide it to customers and have it be successful. Um, particularly when it comes to engine systems with after treatment systems, they're becoming a bit more complicated. So one of the things that we're doing, that we do in-house, is that we develop and validate the engines with machines in mind and in real use in machines in the, fa in the facility. Um, core engine development, you'd expect us to be good, and we focus very much on productivity and reliability as the major core strengths. And if you visit our development facilities, you will see the effort that goes into making sure those engine systems are very, very good. And then the final thing where it's, uh, you, you might imagine with us being very much a hardware commodity product um, business, um, that you wouldn't believe how many customers buy from us because of the team and the personalities. Um, I've got colleagues who, who the customer will buy engines from us because of the relationship they have with their account manager. Um, we've got applications engineers who don't just sort of turn up and ask for data and then go away and then try and get a, a machine signed off. They're actually part of the team that's developing the customer machine and helping to sign it off. So it's very people-based business as well and we have a very, very high focus on the, the interaction between the people from our company and, and the customers to again help them to improve the products they're developing and reduce their time to market. So I think they're the six elements that I think make us different business to business in terms of Perkins and how we work with our customers.